video, I'll be showing you how to make these playful origami stacking cat boxes. This is my new take on a traditional origami box. And not only do they stack, but you can also put little trinkets on the inside. You can make them in different sizes. So for example, if you put a larger one in the bottom, you could put smaller ones on top and just keep stacking like that. And after you're done making these stacking boxes, be sure to check out a similar craft on Red Ted Arts channel, which are these nifty toilet paper roll cat gift boxes. The link for that tutorial will be in the video description. So without further ado, let's get started with the origami stacking cat box tutorial. You need two square sheets of paper. These here are three inch squares, but you can feel free to use something larger or smaller based on your personal preference. You also need a little Sharpie or a writing utensil to draw in the features of the cat. So like the little whiskers and the eyes and the nose. So I'll be using the extra fine point Sharpie here. And lastly, this is completely optional, but you may want to use a glue stick to help keep the ears in place a little better. Now that we have everything, let's get started. We're going to start off with the bottom of the cat box, and what you want to do is make a traditional origami box. So all you have to do is fold the square sheet of paper in half to form a rectangle shape. After that, you're just going to unfold, and then repeat in the opposite direction. unfold and then you're going to take notice of this middle cross right over here and bring in one of the corners to that middle cross so just crease it in like this and then repeat on the opposite side so just fold it straight up to the middle point and crease it in next you want to fold the entire thing in half like this crease it right in unfold, then fold this bottom side to the horizontal center crease. So just fold it straight up like that and crease it in. Then rotate and repeat the same thing on this end. Next you're going to unfold the two folds that you just created. And now you're going to take notice of this intersection over here this one over here, this one over here, and this one over here. So basically where the triangle meets these vertical center creases right here. And then you're just going to fold upwards along these four points. So fold straight up and crease it in. Unfold, rotate, and then repeat the same thing on this side. So just fold it straight up along these two points right here straight up, crease it in, and unfold. Next you just want to fold these flaps right over again, and this one on the left. Then you're going to bring the flap over here at the very top upwards like this. And as you bring it up you can see that these two sides are starting to cave into the center. So just fold it straight up like that, and crease it in. Then you just want to bring this flap over here down inwards towards the center and give it a crease right at the very top edge. So just crease it in, put it on a flat surface, and crease this side in. So now the top should look like this, and the side should look like this. Then you want to go ahead and repeat on this side. So again you're just going to bring the flap up like this, Allow these two sides to cave in, and then you're going to bring this flap downwards into the center, and then crease it in. And now you're done with the bottom of the cat box, and this is just a traditional origami box. Now that we're done with the bottom of the cat box, we're going to work on the lid, which is the cat face. So take your second sheet of paper and then fold it in half lengthwise so that it forms a rectangle shape again. Unfold. Rotate and repeat the same thing in the opposite direction. Unfold and then bring two opposite corners in to the center point right over here. So just fold it upwards and crease it in. 
Repeat the same thing on this side. Next, fold the entire thing in half lengthwise and crease it in. Unfold and then fold this bottom side to the horizontal center crease. Fold it straight up and crease it in. Rotate and repeat the same thing on this side. Just straight up and crease it in. And unfold the two folds. Then you're going to take notice of those same four intersections as you did with the bottom of the box. So here, 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 and here. And again, these four intersections are where the vertical creases over here and here meet the sides of the triangle. So now we're just going to fold the bottom upwards along these two points over here, just as we did with the bottom of the box. And then we're going to unfold, rotate, and repeat the same thing on this side. So just fold it straight up and crease it in. So now you're going to flip the unit over and I've already marked off this rectangle shape right at the top where the cat face is going to go. So you're just going to take your little sharpie and actually I'm going to flip it over like this and then draw in the cat face. And once you're done drawing in the cat face, you're just going to flip the unit over again, fold these two sides over and the left side. Draw in the top flap, just as you did with the bottom of the box, like that, and then crease it in. But this time, instead of folding this flap down and inwards, you're going to fold it upwards and out. So just fold it upwards like this. And out like that. So from the top it should look like this, and from the side it should look like this. Then you want to go ahead and repeat the same thing on this end. So you're just going to fold this top end upwards like this, crease it in, and then fold this part upwards like this, and crease it in. And you're going to take some glue if you want, and you're going to glue these flaps down so that it looks more like this instead of like that. So I'm just going to dab a little bit of glue here, a little bit of glue here, close it up, and then flatten the ears as well. So a little bit of glue here, and flatten. Then I'm going to repeat the same thing on the right side. And once the glue has dried, all you have to do is put the lid right over the bottom of the box and you are completely done with your origami stacking cat box. I hope you guys like this new design and you found this tutorial helpful. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to be alerted when new tutorials come out. I post new videos all year round and you don't want to miss them. Check out the toilet paper roll cat gift boxes on Red Ted Arts channel and also leave a comment below letting me know what tutorial you like to see next. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!